install Eclipse um, and then put it with PyDev for Python programming. So you will need Python installed to your system already. Uh, as you can see, I have Python 3.4 installed. If you don't know how to do that, it's very simple. Uh, just go to your internet browser. Type in Python. Now, I like to use the latest version just because that's what everybody's going to eventually move to. Um, 2.7, I believe, is the the uh, one before that, and it's the most supported still right now as far as third-party uh, extensions go. But I highly advise you start uh, moving towards the 3.4 because Python 2.7 is at the end of its life cycle. Um, so you just click Download for Windows Python 3.4. Pretty simple. And then, as you can see down here, it downloaded it already, which I already had it installed. Um, you would just open up your file browser, go to downloads, then you would go to Python, whichever one you wanted to use, double click and install it. Okay. Now if you're on Windows, you may have to set the Python path, or the path system path variable to uh, point to Python. Um, so all you got to do is go to Computer, go to Properties. You just right click to get to that, go to Advanced System Settings. Alright, and it says Environment Variables right here under Advanced, you click that. Scroll down here, it says Path, you want to edit. And as you can see here, I've got uh, Python 3.4. Alright, so what I did is I just went in, put a semicolon at the end, typed in the path to Python, put another semicolon in that variable, typed in the path to my scripts folder, and another semicolon, and then typed in the, uh, for pip there, just click OK, click OK. Uh, pip is something you want to use. It's really useful. Just to show you here, under CMD, um, this allows me to just type in Python and be able to get it to pull right up. Uh, pip allows you to uh, install things. Pip freeze will show you everything you've got installed for Python. All right, so I've got Django, IPython, PLY, uh, PY2, EXE, PY game, all that stuff. Uh, virtual env. Environment. So, <coughs> uh, pip will allow you to install things. So you would just type in pip install, like say Django, and it would install Django when you hit enter. Um, but I'm not going to do that because it's already installed. All right, so that's Python. Now. to get Eclipse. So go back to Google. Alright, type in Eclipse. Alright, and we have Eclipse Luna. Alright, so you would click download. And then uh, I like to use the Eclipse for PHP developers. You can use whatever you want. Um, you do need to have a up-to-date Java JRE or a um, JDK installed. Which I'll show you how to get that here in just a second. But you would go download Windows 64 bit. It would download. You go back here. All right. You'd right-click, extract all, and then you would go in here. Now Eclipse itself doesn't actually install. Um, so what you do, or what I do anyways, is I take and drag this to my bar down here, as you can see, um, I already have it down here, go away there little buddy, alright, that allows you to have Eclipse uh, ready to go at any time.
like I said, you need the uh, Java uh, JRE, which is what I use. That. Let's go back to Google. Or just Java JRE, or whatever you want to put. Uh, you just go to the first link here. Alright, so it's got the uh, Java with NetBeans, or just the platform. I like the JRE, like I said, instead of the JDK. Um, so I just click download there. And then you just find the one you want, Windows X64. You actually click that and it downloads. Finally open up Eclipse. Click run. I'll minimize this here. <clears throat> it'll take a second to load it'll ask where you want your workspace to be that's fine, default's generally okay and you'll see a loading bar down here and it'll start loading stuff here in just a second Okay, so everything loaded up now. Obviously, I've been using this uh, already, but I'm going to show you, besides this annoying little thing here, um, how to get PyDev actually installed with uh, Eclipse. Because when you first start off, you're just going to have the PHP. Um, view over here and then uh, you'll be able to create uh, PHP and Java and things like that uh, but we want Python so what we're going to do uh, once it switches back over to PHP um, we're going to go up to help we're going to go to install new software we're going to type in http colon forward slash twice we're going to do the pydev which is pydev.org slash updates just double click that you'll see here that it pops up with some options just check both boxes there okay and then you would just click uh, next I've already got everything installed it says hide items that are already installed um, so I can't do it but you just click next and go through that and install everything you're good to go now to actually view the PyDev, uh, what you want to do is go over here and you'll have this nice little uh, open perspective button. And you can come down here and select your PyDev, which will actually put a nice little button right there because you should see PHP uh, if you followed the original tutorial. Um, you should see just the default PHP perspective, but now you have Python so you can go to the PyDev and, and be able to view that perspective or that uh, Pane, window pane, it's got the PyDev package explorer and everything like that. It's got the console down here. Uh, I also run Android uh, on here as well, so that's why it says Android right at the moment. Um, now there's a couple things you need to set up, so go to preferences. Go to PyDev. Open up the uh, little uh, drop down there. Go to interpreters. Alright, um, and then you can click this little button here to check to see if interpreters are uh, synchronized with the environment but you want to set the Python interpreter because by default it may or may not find it on your system so it's pretty easy uh, you could hit quick auto config advanced auto config to see if it can find it on its own uh, if not all you have to do is type in the location of it so if you install Python to your C like most people do you have your Python 34 folder there and then your actual python.exe which is uh, the interpreter so pretty simple so far so you would set that up there uh, you can set up the uh, system python path as well um, and you can see what mine has here and that's just uh, different things that you can set up for libraries and whatnot to import modules and classes and all that fun stuff
there's that. I mean, you can go in and change your editor, auto imports, um, code analysis, things, code completion, things like that. Now, uh, by default, Eclipse will not auto complete the way you think it does or the way you think it should. What you need to do is to go to Java, go down to Compiler, and go to or, uh, as an editor. Hold on just a second. I gotta find out where it was again. Content Assist Editor. There we go. Right here it says Auto Activation Triggers for Java. What you need to do, it's by default just going to have a period there. So at the end of a period, it's going to immediately uh, start to auto or auto suggest or auto finish or whatever. Uh, code complete. You don't want it to do it just off a period when you're doing other languages like PHP, Python, JavaScript, things like that. You want it to do it right away. So what you need to do is add A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, or J, K, L, O, Z. You know all the way. L, O, P, sorry, not Z. All the way through to Z. <coughs> what that will allow you to do is you hit apply and click OK. Now let's just delete this here. We're going to uh, actually... create a new uh, Python uh, project here. So PyDev project. We're going to call this YouTube test. Alright, we're going to use the grammar version of 3.0 plus. The interpreter is under Python. That's what we set up earlier. You're going to add the project to the directory Python path, yes. Alright, click next. Uh, you don't want to reference that, so no, just click finish. You want it to be its own separate project. Alright, that just points to our interpreter. So, you go File, New, PyDev Module, Package, whatever you want to do. Um, a module is a single file, a package is a collection of files. So we want to do a module. Alright, uh, package name is just going to be uh, YouTube. It's just saying, you know, the package isn't found, it will be created. Alright. Um, or we can just go down here and do YouTube, it's fine. Just click finish. Alright, and that'll create a individual file here called YouTube. Uh, it gives you the templates that you can use. Uh, I just do empty. Alright, let me close out fun here. No, don't save anything. Alright, so we'll just save that real quick. Control S. And then you can see here we now have YouTube.py. It's automatically got uh, the information that you set up uh, in there. Now, um, to show you the code completion or the auto completion, uh, we can just type in print. As soon as we start typing, it pops up. Just hit enter. Just put in one set. It'll automatically do it so you don't have to put in two every time. Hello, YouTube. Alright. You can come down here and do uh, name equals input, and then we'll go, you know, please tell me your name. Let's we'll give it a space, and we'll have it say, you know, print name. Okay, just something simple, just control S to save. To run, you would come up here and click this drop down arrow. Now, you want to run as. Python run. Alright, what that's going to do is pull up a console down here for you. You're going to have to left click here to actually select the console as your view. Type in your name, Peter, and hit enter, and it will just say it's just printing out the uh, variable that we created, Peter. Okay, uh, so that's how you set up PyDev with Eclipse. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any other questions, just let me know. Alright, thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.